Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss derivation of the law of science and its application to solve triangles. First of all we shall discuss law of science. Let triangle ABC be any triangle with A, B and C representing the measure of sides opposite to angles with measurement A, B and C respectively. Then sin of angle A upon A is equal to sin of angle B upon B is equal to sin of angle C upon C or we can write it as A upon sin of angle A is equal to B upon sin of angle B is equal to C upon sin of angle C. Now we shall discuss its proof which is very simple. In this triangle ABC let us draw a line perpendicular from vertex A meeting side BC at point D then perpendicular AD gives us the height H of the triangle. Now we see that triangle ABD is a right angle triangle with hypotenuse AB of length C and perpendicular AD of length H. So here sine of angle B would be equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse that is H upon C which implies that C into sine of angle B is equal to H or we can write it as H is equal to C into sine of angle B. We mark this equation as equation number 1. Similarly, in right angle triangle ADC, sine of angle C would be equal to opposite side that is H upon hypotenuse that is B which implies that B into sine of angle C is equal to H or we can write it as H is equal to B into sine of angle C and we mark this equation as equation number 2. Now from equation number 1 and equation number 2 we get C into sine of angle B is equal to B into sine of angle C which implies that sine of angle B upon B is equal to sine of angle C upon C and we mark this equation as equation number 3. Now if we draw perpendicular BD prime from vertex B then from right angle triangle AD prime B we have sine of angle A is equal to H upon C which implies that H is equal to C into sine of angle A. Also in right angle triangle B D prime C we have sine of angle C is equal to H upon A which implies that H is equal to A into sine of angle C. Now we have H is equal to C into sine of angle A and H is equal to A into sine of angle C. From these two equations we can write C into sine of angle A is equal to A into sine of angle C which implies that sine of angle A upon A is equal to sine of angle C upon C. And we mark this equation as equation number 4. So now from equation number 3 and equation number 4 we get sine of angle A upon A 
is equal to sine of angle B upon B is equal to sine of angle C upon C. If we take its reciprocal, we can also write it as A upon sine of angle A is equal to B upon sine of angle B is equal to C upon sine of angle C. Hence, our result is proved. Now we are going to discuss how to solve triangles using law of sines. To solve a triangle means to find the length of all its sides and the measure of all its angles. Law of science can be used to write three different equations and these are sine of angle A upon A is equal to sine of angle B upon B or sine of angle B upon B is equal to sine of angle C upon C or sine of angle A upon A is equal to sine of angle C upon C. To solve any triangle, we can apply the law of sines if we know the three dimensions of a triangle and we need to find the other three dimensions. We should note that the three dimensions could not be any three dimensions. Now law of sines is applicable when we are given AAS that is any two angles and an adjacent side. If we take these two angles then we can have any of these two sides ASA that is any two angles and their included side that is we can take any two angles and a side between these two angles. Next is SSA that is side side angle that is two sides and an angle. This is an ambiguous case. In this session we will only discuss these two cases that is AAS and ASA. We adopt the same method to solve a triangle when we are given AAS and ASA. Let us see the following example. In triangle ABC, A is equal to 4.56, angle A is equal to 43 degrees, angle C is equal to 57 degrees. We need to solve the triangle First we have drawn this figure. This is triangle ABC with angle A as 43 degrees, angle C as 57 degrees. Also, side opposite to angle A is of length 4.56 and let us denote this length by A. Let side opposite to angle B is of length B and side opposite to angle C is of length C. So we know three of the six measures. We need to find angle B and length B and C. From this figure we see that we have AAS situation. So we begin by finding angle B. We know that sum of all angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So here in triangle ABC we have measure of angle A plus measure of angle B 
plus measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees which implies that measure of angle A that is 43 degrees plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle C that is 57 degrees is equal to 180 degrees which implies that 43 degrees plus 57 degrees is 100 degrees plus measure of angle B is equal to 180 degrees which implies that measure of angle B is equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees that is equal to 80 degrees. So measure of angle B is equal to 80 degrees. Now we need to find length of B and C. Using law of sines, we have sine of angle A upon A is equal to sine of angle C upon C and sine of angle A upon A is equal to sine of angle B upon B. We first take this equation. We get now sine of angle A that is sine of 43 degrees upon A that is 4.56 is equal to sine of angle C that is sine of 57 degrees upon C which implies that C is equal to 4.56 into sine of 57 degrees whole upon sine of 43 degrees. Now using calculator, we find the values of sine of 57 degrees and sine of 43 degrees and we get C is equal to 4.56 into 0 0.83 whole upon 0 0.68. On solving further, we get the value of C as 5.56 approximately. So, C is approximately equal to 5.56. Now we shall solve this equation. Now we have sine of angle A upon A that is sine of 43 degrees upon 4.56 which is equal to sine of angle B that is sine of 80 degrees upon B which implies that B is equal to 4.56 into sine of 80 degrees whole upon sine of 43 degrees. Using calculator, we find the values of sine of 80 degrees and sine of 43 degrees and we get B is equal to 4.56 into 0.98 whole upon 0 0.68. On solving further, we get the value of B as 6.57 approximately. So, B is approximately equal to 6.57. So, we say that measure of angle B is equal to 80 degrees. C is approximately equal to 5.56 and B is approximately equal to 6.57 which is the required answer. So in this session we have discussed the derivation of law of sines and its application to solve triangles. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.